First one, it's a flat rate loan. Uh, the way that you know it's a flat rate loan is because the question tells you he takes a loan and it tells you it's a flat interest rate, okay? So therefore, that triggers in my mind simple interest and that's why I've written over there on the left hand side um, for myself what I know to substitute into. Find the amount of interest charged. Well, on simple interest, the formula itself, it will hand you simple interest. Uh, rather, it will hand you the interest that's been charged, okay? So you can see principal, rate, number of time periods, and so there's your number, okay? Are you happy with that? Find the total amount to be repaid. I was really pleased going around having a look. I saw a lot of people highlighting. You saw that that, that phrase means, okay, what I'm gonna do is take what I worked out in the previous part and add it to the interest. Uh, sorry, add it to the principal, rather, and that's the total amount, okay? So you've got your 11,440, and hopefully you saw the progression from part A to B and B to C, to find the monthly repayment, you had to work out, well, how many months am I gonna to have to take to repay this thing? There's five years, so you can see how I got 60 months. Well, that's a division sign, it's a bit, um, it's a bit small, let me fix that. If you wanna work out how much has to be paid every single one of those 60 months, it's just a division, okay? So $190.67 is what happens after you round, okay? Any questions before I move on to that? Does it look okay? Yeah? All right, so that was a bit of a warm-up, even though it had plenty of parts. Let's have a look at this next one. Now, you've seen these before. You've um, looked at a table like this, and um, it's a bit tricky to read, which is the whole point of asking a question like this, okay? So read the beginning. It says, the table below shows the payment per $1,000 on a monthly reducible loan. In other words, you know how we uh, worked out up here? We worked out your monthly repayment on such and such amount of borrowing, etc. So the table we're looking at right now, it does all those calculations for you and just says, all right, if you're paying off $1,000, this is your repayment. Well, we're not paying off $1,000, we're paying off $290,000, right? Do you see? So therefore, what I do is I say, well, that's 290 thousands. So 290 of those, each one of those corresponds. <laughs> what if the okay, yep. yeah. What if the two hundred ninety times nine point whatever that's written here, but then you could, the Wait, thing from that your calculator is wrong. Ah, uh, yeah, sure. I'd probably give one mark out of two for that. Okay. Yes, Laura. Yeah. Mm. So, and this is one of the reasons why it's a bit like this table doesn't make it as absolutely obvious as it could. Um, the thing that's missing, sorry, I'll zoom back out in a second. The thing that's missing is a dollar sign. Oh, okay, it's a dollar I sign. It was a yeah, now here's the thing. Here's the thing, right? There are two reasons. There are two reasons you can know it's not a percentage. Okay, here's the first reason. That's a percentage, right? Like it wouldn't really make sense to say, oh, 7% will be 19.8%. Which one is it? Okay, so the fact that this is a percentage tells you this is not a percentage. And then secondly, um, just come back to the first sentence in the question. It says, the table below shows the payment per $1,000. Payment per $1,000. So that's going to be a dollar amount. Question. Have I just punched the number wrong? I, I got, yeah, I think so. Maybe I've just read it wrong. 2647.294. 26, okay, that's cool. I just must have um, done something. Oh, you can, right. can you tell me again? 2647.294. Two nine four dot dot dot. So now I'm going to round. Done. Does that look better? Sorry. Even the best of us press the calculator roll sometimes. All right. So, but you see the process. You see the principle on how I read the table, and then how I use that to say, if this is how much I have to pay for every thousand dollars, then there will be two hundred ninety of those. Right, let's have a look at Bella. So, 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 so that minus oh, yeah. like one, two, eight, six yeah. is for the monthly as well. That's how much the monthly repayment. Yep, shows the payment per $1,000 on a monthly reducible loan. Yep, okay. Why do you think these have to I don't know where I might just have potential. Okay, shh. We're on number three. 
Um, you can see, hopefully, um, again, flat rate loan. So again, your brain triggers simple interest. So that's why I've written over here the simple interest formula. But we're using it in a different way to how we used it in question one. What's different in this question? You're trying to find the rate. Earlier on, we are trying to find the interest um, as a dollar amount. But here, I'm trying to find the interest as a rate, as a percentage. So you can see right there, there's my unknown. I don't know what R is, so I just leave it as R. Um, the rest of it, you can see this is what I got when I multiplied 14,000 by two and a half. What did I do? Can someone help me out? What did I do from line two to line three? I divided by, by 35,000, right? Because I'm trying to get rid of it from off of the R. It's attached and I want to get rid of it. Yes, that's a very common error. It's really easy to say R. Oh. Yeah, we, we frequently, like, if you see two numbers and you think, oh, I better divide these, the most common thing to do is divide the big number by the small number. Yeah. But here you're after an interest rate, which is a really tiny number, right? So do you see how I've got this number and then I have converted it to a percentage? Okay. Right. So, um, you're right. Well, like, because I know, well, I'm just going to do so I put 14,000 on the left side. And so you put it over there? Yeah. Okay, so what you've got to think about really carefully, and this is why I wrote it over here um, on the right-hand side, it's not easy, right? You've got to work out what is what and where it belongs. Okay, so read the question carefully. Now, when it says a flat rate loan of $14,000, right? So the loan is $14,000. The thing that belongs on the other side of the equation is not the value of the loan, it's the value of the interest, right? And that's why it says at the beginning, let's change color, 2,275 interest. So that's I, and that's how you know it belongs on the left hand side. If it was for finding out the number of like, period wise, do it before the same? Yeah, you're going to use I equals PRN all over again, but instead you'll know what I, P, and R, you know those values, and then N is what you're trying to find. Yeah. <laughs> Correct. So you can see my first line is always, every time, no exceptions. Take the formula and then just substitute it. Don't do any simplifying here. Don't do any like, ooh, let's rearrange, try and save some time. We generally will just muck up and then lose time because we've got to go back and fix it. Make this, like literally be able to read off. Maybe you want to copy that first line down and on top of it say I, P, R, N. You should be able to read that off and say that's the principle. That's the number of years that I'm in there, etc. After that, this turns into an AM1 question, right? Do you remember when we were just solving equations under algebra? So that's what this becomes. If you have the like, where you wrote the equation down, like, say in an exam, like, can This one? Yeah. Yep. Mm -hmm. It depends a little bit. The, the short answer is maybe. But I will say, this line, if you guys made a mistake, this is actually really important. If you made a mistake, you probably made it on that line. Most people do not make their errors down here. So therefore, if you get that line right, that means you understand something, and maybe just like I did on the previous question, you just press some buttons wrong. So you have demonstrated understanding. So there's a good chance you'll get something on that, but I can't say for certain. It depends on the exam. If you write that, then you divide. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this is, this is worth something. It's just a question of how much, and it depends on the question.